And as you saw, he's the only scholarship quarterback on the roster for Minnesota. Mohamed Ibrahim with the carry. He picks up about three yards up towards the 28-yard line. The season of this game at 9.36 coming in, so he's at 9.39. Plenty of time to throw, and he hits in stride with Rashad Bateman. That's a true freshman, and he's up to midfield. Third down and short here on the first drive of the game for the Gophers, third and one. Ibrahim has the first down. And he'll ramble for even more all the way up to the 35. No Tyler Johnson on the field right now with three receivers. And it's handed off by Morgan. Once again, Ibrahim bounces off a tackle. He's inside the 20, brought down at the 16 by Tariq Carpenter. On the hustle tape. Minnesota's run it six straight times, but it's third and seven. Johnson in the slot up top, but looking near side towards the end zone. A lot of contact between Rashad Bateman and the defender. No flag. That was Trey Swilling. Both looking back for the football. They complete fourth down. Has a chance to move into second place all time, points wise. 15 to 20. Long at 53 this year. This 31 yarder is up and true. So the Gophers march down the field and settle for a field goal of the game's first possession. Playing in his final game for the Ramblin' Wreck. He pitches runner left. Quay Searcy hit hard and knocked down for virtually no gain. Maybe a yard that time as Thomas Barber brought him down. A ton of different looks and just be good at what we're showing. And right now, they're basically showing him a, a nine-man box. On third and seven, Marshall spun down. Wesley Harvard, big hit, six feet, 245 pounds. <laughs> he could run a fake on you pretty good, huh? End over end punt, and that hit, hit, like it hit a the Georgia defender. Tech player. Hit 28 right in the back of the head. Yeah, that hit a Georgia Tech player. Now, now Tech is recovered, but it hit Tech. Thomas, yeah, Wanya Thomas is the guy who was down there. And they'll get this sorted out, the officials. Let's take a look. Kibitzing together. Illegal touching. By the kicking team. Minnesota will keep the ball first down the 48 yard line. Next level. Morgan looking left, sets up a screen pass. They get in the hands of Tyler Johnson for the first time, but he is swarmed under by Desmond Branch, number 99, and others for Georgia Tech. Morgan, time to throw to the sideline, and a first down catch is made by the freshman Rashad Bateman, and he steps out of bounds at the 34. And Johnson now in the slot on the near side, handed off. Ibrahim, turn to the corner, down the sideline, lowers his shoulder, and runs into Lamont Simmons and picks up close to 10 right there. Gophers. You got Johnson up top. Morgan looks his way. He's going his way to the end zone for Johnson. Over the shoulder, got it. Touchdown, Minnesota. Great throw, great catch. And our first touchdown of the night belongs to Tyler Johnson. Georgia Tech, a third and seven, under three minutes to go first quarter. Marshall to throw, but he's sacked. Julian Huff, the brother of Jacob Huff, with the sack and a loss of five and another quick three and out for the second Georgia Tech possession of the game. Here, Georgia Tech trying to get their offense on the field. They haven't been on the field for much here in this first quarter. And Morgan on third down along has a chance to run for it and will have the first down. It looks like he got just enough at the 25 to extend the drive. He does first down, Gophers, 20 of Tech. And here's Ibrahim running right. Man, when he gets ahead of Steve going, that man is a runaway locomotive. He's down to the 12 first down. Third down at seven. So the line to gain right near the three. Morgan under pressure, breaks a tackle, takes off, and he's brought down shy of the line to gain at the nine yard line by Victor Alexander. Hit from 31 in the first quarter. This one pretty well lined up middle of the field. The fifth-year senior from Green Bay, and he knocks that one 
up and through. But really kind of a win for Georgia Tech to keep them out of the end zone. Early in this second quarter, Minnesota out to a 13 0. If you don't, he's going to get you. Can they convert on third down and two? Mason, actually, Cat Marshall down the sideline across midfield. And there's that option we were talking about. Run at a much higher efficiency in a 19 yard run for the quarterback, but now he's slow getting up. Yeah, it'll be tough, but they're, they're great guys, and just the coaching staff and everybody associated with it, I wish them nothing but the best. Just prior, prior to the snap on fourth down, and they get the first down and more of the run. Takes it inside the 30. Time together as Golden Gophers. That was ruled a run, not a sack. But nonetheless, a loss of eight and more heat being put on by Delanabit there. He gets rid of it, and Marshall throws it away. Ibrahim straight up the middle. He is spun down right near the marker by Malik Rivera. And a third and five here for the Gophers, who dominated this first half with a 13-0 lead. And the run is a first down run. Ibrahim, who was down, he marked down at the 48. It's to go in this first half from Detroit, the quick lane bowl. Play fake, pass, did he threat it? Incomplete. After the play was over, the sportsmanlike conduct, number 36, defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Morgan pulls it. Wasn't quite able to get away. He almost did. Jalen Johnson got the ankles and just as he was getting away in front of them. 23 seconds to play in the half. It had the distance but went left. 44 yards from the right hash to try to get Georgia Tech on the board to end the first half in Detroit. Give him a little lift heading there. That is up. That is a big lift for Georgia Tech to get on the board with the 44-yard field goal to end the half. Discipline. So this first possession of the second half and Tech a third and five and kept breaking a tackle. There goes Marshall out the backside. He'll get the first down. We're now two of six on third down tonight. Third and three. Marshall keeping able to get rid of it at the last moment, but. Quay Searcy right into the arms of Keandre Thomas. He's back in there to start this drive. First possession of the second half for the Gophers. And right back to Ibrahim. And this guy bouncing around. That's a 14-yard run. He's to the 46 of Georgia. He's a guy I don't think you can target enough. Can <laughs> right? And we well, yes, asked Coach Shiraka how many times. He's as many as we can. Morgan lets it fly. He's got his man wide open. And into the end zone, Chris Ottman Bell. Nope, they're going to mark him out at the three. It will be first and goal. It is Rolling not a field. touchdown. It's a completed pass for a first down. Seth Green in the game. Ibrahim straight ahead. He makes all the replay nonsense and move point and says touchdown Minnesota. His first of the night. And for Ibrahim. His eighth rushing touchdown of the year. Marshall keeping, and he does get it up. Now they've changed it. Minnesota shuffles down right over the center. And that is enough for the first down. And in fact, uh, Coach Ross, he said that's what he believes in, and they cut people all week live in practice. 14th play of the drive. There's the pitch, and there's control. And Georgia Tech finds the end zone for the first time tonight. Ibrahim. That's exciting. Says, don't get excited because I'm flashing down the sideline and maybe gone. They catch up to him at the 20. Mohamed Ibrahim with a 56 yard run. Staying in the game as a wide receiver, split wide right. Georgia Tech badly needs to keep him out of the end zone, can they? Ibrahim says no with his second rushing touchdown of the game. 
To make this a three-score game. Things go with a year away from the game. Yeah, so he just needed a break. Felt like it was time. He's been at it for about 40 years. Marshall caught in stride. Quay Cersei. All the way down near the 30-yard line of Minnesota. Yep, Marshall wants to put it up. Here comes some pressure. He's throwing towards the end zone. And Stewart, it's a jump ball. Incomplete. And Minnesota will take over on downs. He doesn't know. Yeah, Allison Ray. I don't, I'm sure you remember our conversation with him earlier in the week. And here's Ibrahim down the sideline to midfield and more. Push him out at about the 42. Morgan to the end zone. The adjustment to catch Johnson. Wow. His second touchdown catch of the game. And they've both been extremely impressive grabs. <laughs> they have a couple good skilled players that have been flying around on defense. This is a good look. Oliver looking to run again. And he's going to have another first down. Down the sideline. They'll mark him out near the 20. If they had five little smaller uh, trophies, I'd give them to that offensive line, too, because those guys have been really good all night. So they've been in the victory formation. And that's going to take care of things from Detroit, Minnesota. P.J. Fleck gets his first bowl win as Gophers head coach as they down Georgia Tech 34-10. Job well done. 